Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it's uh, August 2nd of 2017. It is, I think it's, let's see, Wednesday morning, but it's uh, almost 3 a.m. This is just a general, one of my blog entries, video blog entries. Uh, nothing earth-shaking here. Uh, I meant to mention in one of the videos, I think, I mean, video I think I made yesterday, that when I'm making some of these videos for the next few days, you may hear some loud aircraft. I'm located to what I think it was, I'll forget the name, Carsville Air Force Base. Deactivated now, it's a reserve joint base or whatever. There's going to be military exercise and training going on here until uh, the 8th, so six more days. And uh, they said that the operations may continue to like 3 a.m. in the morning. So if you uh, hear some noise, that may be what it is. I just meant to mention that the other day. Speaking of Air Force, this sort of interests me. Uh, you know, the Air Force was going to have some, a couple new Air Force One aircraft uh, built, and uh, President Trump uh, objected to the cost, apparently. And uh, so now they're looking at buying two aircraft that are already built. They were built for a Russian airline, but the Russian airline went broke and bankrupt and never received the uh, aircraft and they're sitting in a I think out in California in a shed or someplace and uh, the Air Force is looking into uh, then converting those into Air Force One. I guess they have Air Force One and then always there is a second aircraft. Same kind, same configuration, everything that uh, also goes along and uh, I've watched some you may have too some documentaries about Air Force One how it operates and what what it looks like on inside also uh, I watched uh, the West Wing on well I watched it when it was on TV and of course it's on I think Netflix now if you haven't watched it, uh, I'd recommend watching it from the beginning. So I guess Netflix would be a good way to um, to do that. Really interesting with this current situation, everything going on, to see the West Wing TV show, and uh, you get an idea a little bit of how the White House operate or how it should operate, and well, you know what the chief of staff does and uh, things like that. I don't, I'm guessing, I don't know this for a fact, I'm guessing that uh, the West Wing when it was on TV was very popular, I can remember, because I didn't start watching it right away, I can remember people, the news media, whatever it would be, you know, oh, you know, on the TV show, did you see the West Wing episode last night and stuff like that. And uh, so when it went to, I think I did watch it while I was still alive. And I think I maybe caught the last season or something like that. And then it went into reruns. And then I watched it from the beginning and then, wow, uh, really great. I suspect, I don't know this for a fact, I suspect that uh, Republicans probably did not like it because it was... Uh, TV show was a Democratic administration, but I, I think uh, if you could, if you are a Republican, if you, you haven't seen it, if you could just suspend your, because there are some great things in that, uh, and there's some, you'll be surprised if you watch it, if if you just can stand, you know, dealing with. Uh, which you're going to probably object to some of the things, but there are Republicans in the, you know, that 
come to work in the West Wing, that there are contact between the Democratic administration, and there are some uh, good, good things there. So I would recommend that to you. But anyway, this kind of interests me. I have never heard, I, I have the capabilities for doing it. I've been in places where, like in Miami during, uh, uh, when I was in Miami during the a campaign, or I was down there for five years, and it was hot, hotly contested and everything, and uh, everybody was coming down there. Uh, so Air Force One was, you know, flying down there and other aircraft. And it, I just have never made the effort to hear on the radio live uh, Air Force One. It would be something I would, it was my hobby. I uh, started in 1955 listening to shortwave radio and and then uh, became quite proficient at it. I uh, There's a book out about shortwave radio, shortwave broadcasting, and uh, shortwave listening and all that. I mentioned in the book numerous times, but I've never got around to uh, actually hearing Air Force One. I should do that sometime. It wouldn't be difficult, you know, just if you would know the president was flying in and uh, all you need is a scanner or something and uh, the frequencies of the you know, airport he's flying into. So, uh, I don't know how many of you, I, well, I guess a lot, because I have uh, 2,000 subscribers, a little bit over 2,000 subscribers. Uh, Boogie2988 has over 4 million <laughs> subscribers. So I'm not sure how many of you follow him, but uh, he started in 2005, no, he started in 2008, I think. He started a few years after I did on YouTube, and I've got two and a half, two thousand subscribers, and he's got four million subscribers. I remember when he started. And uh, interesting person. Uh, he's had a a rough life from the time he was a child. Uh, I won't go into all that, he, but he does, he mentions all that uh, on his videos and you can go there and watch. I'll put a link below. Uh, he, he weighs 550 pounds and he just, I'm not sure if this is the correct term for it now, I mean I, I, I might have, but uh, he just had to, well yesterday, bypass surgery. And uh, this is, I'll put a link to this video. To, I'll put a link to his site. And here is the uh, video. I'll put a link to it. What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Boogie2988 coming at you live once again through the power of the internet. And this is my rambling series, my uh, rambling vlogs, which I talk about myself, life, universe, and things around us, things that are particularly interesting to me. And today is the day. Now, if you are seeing this, chances are I'm already at the hospital. I have this video. I'm going to set this video to go live um, right about the time I was supposed to leave the hospital. Would you? So I was. Uh, I've watched quite a few of his videos. I haven't. He does gaming videos. He's expanded out. He does gaming videos, and uh, I don't watch any of those gaming videos. And uh, but I've watched a lot of his videos. And uh, he had his, and I might be incorrect on that. I actually uh, had a girlfriend who had had bypass surgery. I started dating her after she had her bypass surgery and had lost all of her weight. And I dated her for about a year. And so I know a little bit about the subject, but not, I, I'm not sure if he had the exact Actually, she had to, well, she actually ended up, when I was dating her, I, we went out to eat at some nice restaurants, and uh, she would have the meal, and then she would go to the bathroom, and come back, 
and she managed the little pouch that they had created for her. She managed to stress, stretch that out by eating and after we were no longer uh, dating after that year or whatever, she was able to have a, another surgery which was kind of, she, her doctor went ahead and I don't know how, they, how he worked it out. I mean normally I don't think they would do that. But she had a little, I think a different, slightly different thing done and uh, so anyway, so I know a little bit about it but uh, I'll put the link, he had his surgery yesterday and I'll put the link, this is a uh, Twitter feed for his wife and she has, uh, here he is after he came out of surgery. Yeah, this is, he, this is after he came out of surgery. And I think she mentioned that, yeah, okay, that he watched uh, a Keem Star video. I'm not sure what Keem Star is, but he watched it from his bed. And then she made a post uh, that was seven hours ago. So he was out of surgery and everything was okay. And she made a post two hours ago, says, Hubs uh, keeps dreamingly telling me how beautiful I am and how nice the view is when he looks at me. These pain meds are great for my self-esteem. So, looks, I, I know he was... Uh, he was worried, and I would be too, about that surgery, although he, he knew the statistics. And, uh, but anyway, I'll put the links in case you are a, uh, if you're a follower of his, you probably maybe already know, but just in case you don't, I'll put the, the links underneath here on mine. Uh, so what else is going on here? Uh, I changed my speaker system around. I went back to this, and I see the price is now fifty dollars. I think I paid a hundred and fifty for this. And uh, anyway, I've got it hooked back up, just so I could get the two other speakers off the desk, and I want as much desk space as I can get. Uh. What else is going on? I think that's, uh, well, let's check the, let's check the news here. Senate to hold bipartisan health care hearings. That would be great if the Democrats and the Republicans could get together and fix, work to fix the health care bill, the affordable, we'd have to stop calling it, you know, because it drove, the Republicans used in the, you know, as soon as Obamacare, Obamacare, remember they just, and I said back then, keep calling it Obamacare because it'll be called, you know, it's going to be called Obamacare 20 or 50 years from now, people were going, Who's Obama, you know? And, uh, but, so they, what they want to do is, you know, so we ought to stop calling it Obamacare, although Affordable Health Care Act is kind of, but I do hope it would be great if they would just work together to fix, to make it better. And of course, the Democrats, of course, Republicans control everything, but, uh, of course, what I would love to see, what Democrats would love to see, is single payer, but the Republicans are, you know, not going to go for that. That's what Medicare is. What we ought to do is just expand Medicare to cover all U.S. citizens. Well, no, we ought to do like the European countries do and cover everybody, uh, anybody that's here, you know. 
anyway, that's what I hope they do. Uh, they're, they've got coming up here before long the uh, spending limit bill that they have to do it every year, ex expand it, or raise it, or do whatever they do to it. In the past, the Republicans have held, used that as, you know, a threat, you know, if if you don't stand on your head and kiss my ass or whatever, we're not going to, you know, and they've used that to, you know, they risk damaging the credit limit of the United States, making the United States go bankrupt and causing disastrous, <laughs> you know, financial problems around the world. They've done that. And so far, a little bit that looks like it's coming from the leadership of the Republicans. I'm not sure if it's in the Senate or the House that they're not going to do that. They want to pass, they take care of the spending limit like they've always done until the last few years, last couple of years, or that they act like they're going to go ahead and that. But the problem is going to be in their, some people in their, in their party are want, going to want to use let's just shut the United States down until Obamacare is destroyed. I mean, that's just, let's hope we don't go that route. Uh, I saw a thing in here someplace that there was some strange uh, North Korean sub-activity. That's kind of scary. But I looked up uh, someplace I forget if it was 70 or 90 subs that North Korea has, but they're really, they're like World War II, you know, slightly modified World War, you know, not World War II subs, but ones that are just that technology, and apparently they would not be any problem for the United States Navy uh, to take care of. But with everything that's going on, you don't want to hear about uh, anything, you know, uh, to make it sound more threatening than it already is. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's go to the right wing hate site. You know, really, I I called it, been calling it that for years, and it still is. But they are they were now they were not supporters of. Uh, uh, Donald Trump um, still not happy with him and whatever but uh, so you can see here by their you know Trump is touting imaginary calls about imaginary pra praise for also perform for awful performances like before the Boy Scouts and before those that group of police officers and uh, and I you know, you know, the, the anti-vaccine movement they say has gone too far this time and they're sort of in the anti-vaccine group, you know. I'm not sure what this that says here. A report said that the White House is a dump. But it's uh, interesting to go over here and they'll have some really things, hard things to say about Donald Trump and the administration. Of course, they also, if they can find anything to hammer the left, uh, they'll put it in there. But right now, they're really demoralized and shocked and frightened, I think. For crying out loud, the right need the right needs to stop doing this with. Oh, I thought it was going to be the left.
for crying out loud, the right needs to stop doing this with children. I thought there was going to be an attack on the... Uh, For some reason, Fox and Friends interviewed a 12-year-old girl over the weekend. Her claim to fame is being 12 years old and supporting Donald Trump. Apparently, she made a big viral splash at CPAC, which makes me wonder why F and F is dragging Fox and Friends is dragging her out now. Some people I've talked to speculated that some overzealous stage parents are trying to cash in on their precocious daughter's ability to pretend to be an adult. Here's the excruciating video. Yeah. Well, what do you know? That wasn't an attack on the left. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching.